Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is Sampath you are watching Sampath Sam Fix YouTube channel and this is Poco X3 custom ROM reviews it's applicable for X3 NFC2 here the dark fresh OS I am using here currently you guys can see Android version is 14 here and the version platform version is also 14 stable Surya 2024 4 16 April 16th build and April 5 2024 is the security patch and baseband version kernel user is 4.14.340 Surya R1 kernel has been used saying status is M4 sync here. This is the version and this is the typical home screen what we can get in this particular ROM and these are the quick settings toggles as you can see even in the edit section there are separate options of Wi-Fi and mobile internet location and 100 mode dark theme again plenty are given here sync option is also available these are tiled circularly as you can see compared to uh, rectangular there fs count let's see will it work or not this is representing as a show me parts it is too slow to drag and add anyhow these are the things what we can get in the quick settings toggles fs counter i will turn on here you get the real time fs count the quick settings toggles are really smooth guys and the ui home screen and app drawer and this are the apps included here i don't know this accord app what is this yeah this is nothing but a music player if you have any offline music you can definitely utilize that and camera application also here you get basic camera application for taking photograph and recording video for certain uh, point of time it will be helpful no setting or anything like that here yeah and that is used and if you want to use any gcam ports you can definitely use them fm radio is spring cloud here and other google apps like google pay google for maps everything is given voice search both the options are given here and gallery is also pre-included here uh, that's how it is and if i press on hold here home settings it's a dark launcher are you ready for darkness guys if you are ready then hit that subscribe button down below guys and also allow the bell notification pressing the bell icon still people are not subscribed my channel but watching my videos go and hit that subscribe button and also like my video guys i will be motivated it is going to be a lot more time to make videos it looks like for you the output is 10 20 minutes but it takes uh, four to five hours for me to make it a end video for you with thumbnail and all it takes a lot more effort guys i hope you guys like the video and uh, make me happy anyhow uh, this is the score what i got in this particular room 3 lakh 489 thousand four hundred and ninety sorry 409 and temperature raise was 5.2 degrees and three percentage of battery has been dropped defeated two percent of users and this is a version of android i'm using 10.2.4 and this is geekbench 6.2.2 750 single score 1911 multi score and version is 14 here cts profile match basic basic integrity getting past year and the device is certified hence well using payment applications is not a problem and again drm information hgr 10 support and level 1 certification has been done read at speed test with graphic and numericals and this is charging rapidly test i was explaining this one icons again you get these options here home screen guys i have used many roms guys based on android 14 but this one is looking really smooth once you flash the rom you will definitely understood what i am saying miscellaneous settings again you get these options here uh, what i'm saying is the ui is really really smooth even if i go into home settings or if i go into settings as you can see the smoothness is really really good nothing so fancy in the ui it looks very simple but smoothness is next level here coming into system again navigation mode gesture navigation you get complete option to hide that and back height left height that is given but uh, you will not get any option to increase the length of it and thickness of it anyhow that's how we get here and that first update Xiaomi parts has been included here Dirac sound settings are given here underneath that LCD features and KCAL those are the things and thermal profiles are also included haptic feedback strength also you can adjust from here USB configuration is there and digital will bring it is very similar location google maps are working fine guys use as strategy if you turn this off for extra battery life and again wallpapers on style again you get here lock screen customizations has been given yes clock style those things you can adjust that and home screen again you get change wallpaper some of the dub first wallpapers are pre-included here the way ui is next level smooth guys 
I should uh, name the title as a smoothest UI for Poco X. That smooth it is app grid again. You get uh, six into ten here, icon and fonts, shapes, everything is fine here. And uh, again, access built-in menu, which is my handy feature, guys. Uh, if you just don't want to use this volume physical buttons, you can actually ac access the volume up and down from here. Not only that, you will get some more options here. You can see the real-time FPS count here and color and motion other things remains very similar here display again you get necessary features like dark theme pure black option is also given once you enable that as you can see it's currently bluish type once you enable that it will become pitch black condition which is my favorite and it is there really really good the ui is really really looking very much better and smooth here that is the added feature here smoothness in the ui is next level i have ever thought this much smooth ui is available for poco x3 that much smoothness is available here and again sound and vibration again you get plenty of options here too and ringtone vibration pattern is given spatial audio options are also given for wired earphones and again guys i'm using bunch of paired earphones here all are working fine no problem regarding that and even stereo speakers are working fine calling also no problem and these are the options you get in the audio settings here uh, coming into battery again you get all the necessary options charging control once you enable that you can select the charge time and target of full charge and limit the charging from here that's fine battery saver is given reduce refresh rate and turn off while it is at 90 percent those are given battery usage has been recorded you can check out the battery life is also very much good in this particular rom guys i haven't faced a single issue in this rom that much smooth the rom is and app settings and again other settings remains very smooth this is how it is and moving into dust space again these are the customizations you get uh, like customizations and again general settings like unlimited photo storage is given but unlimited uh, ifs games are not visible for me at least if you guys can found out let me know in the comment section and ambient always display island notification is there again and this one battery settings clock settings status bar items traffic indicators career level minimal and here you get any option to no unlimited high fs count is not there very much minimal here the customizations are what we can expect from darkfish those all the features are available app opening time again i'll show you the dialer here let me increase the volume here and this is how the volume panel also very smooth guys they have removed any animations or what i don't know but it is very 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 much smooth direct video call feature is available and call recording it will announce the other person that you are recording the call like that it is and this how the ui i really felt very much smooth guys operating this operating system it is really really good in my opinion even in the quick settings struggle as you can see very very smooth experience i got from this ui once you flash this rom you'll be coming to know why i'm saying this let's see bgmi how it handled in this particular rom and again guys you can check out the graphic settings here smooth plus ultra is the maximum available settings but here it is showing more fps that is actually the screen fps not the game fps here hence i recommend not to use this kind of fps case you guys can see it is showing more than 40 here for ultra that's why i don't believe in this fps you need to see the gameplay how it actually handles the gaming experience is also smooth but it's not up to the level of 90 or 60 fps here that's the experience of this ui i haven't faced any issues of lagging or overheating here that is also a good sign here and this is how the volume panel looks like and this is how the quick settings toggles looks like really smooth i haven't faced any uh, draining issues or any such issues i haven't faced here just the gaming experience could have been better more the fs better will be the gameplay but still if you want to use it as a daily driver i recommend this as a uh, first uh, option because that smooth once you use the particular rom you will definitely notice that guys why i am saying this 
it's my experience guys i have seen plenty of roms right now and this is going to be a great among them as of now i am saying uh, in terms of ui experience and smoothness i am saying this is number one rank available for poco x3 recent apps you can also see the memory available haptic feedback strength everything is working fine guys i really liked it if you also liked it go flash this from flashing method is given in the description check out flashing method video and if you have any specific questions comment down in the comment section if you're still not joined the whatsapp group for this particular device you can join that those links are also in the description and if you have any specific questions comment down in the comment section guys this is sampath signing off we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smelling bye bye for now